was just a pile of junk. You, you could see parts of old bathtubs, you could see bits of rubbish, uh, wood, concrete, metal. 114 Olympic sized swimming pools it would have filled of junk, uh, mixed with toxic junk and, and obviously asbestos. It seemed to go as far as the eye could see and you, you would stand in a site like this and you couldn't see the buildings that are behind us today. All you could see was just this giant wall of rubbish. Such a big fire risk. Fire Rescue Victoria identified this as being the greatest waste related fire risk in the state. We had to step in and we had to manage that. Biggest clean up that, that we've done. We stepped in because the property owner, the business owner, in effect walked away and, and left the, the mess here for the community to deal with. The clean up bill is about $71 million. Now that's $71 million of taxpayer money that had this business done the right thing, followed the law and managed its site the taxpayer should never have had to meet those costs. We should never have had to step in. We'll continue to pursue cost recovery. We want to claw as much of that back from those who are actually responsible for this site, and that's what we'll do. There's been a change in the law which gives extra powers to the EPA to intervene early uh, and uh, strict penalties apply. I dare say the recycling companies would be looking very carefully at that and know, know what their obligations are, and that's important too. So today is really we're marking the, the completion of the cleanup. You know, 286,000 cubic metres of waste gone. Last trucks left the site this week. So it's important that we do mark just a fantastic effort. But look, in some ways it's not something to celebrate. This shouldn't have happened, right? We shouldn't have had to, to step in. We shouldn't have had to spend over $70 million of taxpayer money. You know, businesses have got to manage their risk. And, and our job has got to be on making sure that that's exactly what they do.